Hello, my name is Thorsten Balthasar. This video tutorial shows how to transfer an existing project schedule created in Primavera Scheduler to a Telos time location diagram. The tutorial is designed for schedulers aiming on creating a time location diagram from Primavera Schedule data, project managers, schedulers, estimators of infrastructure construction projects, consultants with affinity to time location diagrams, students, technicians and civil engineers, IT staff supporting the data transfer. First, you will get an overview about data exchange and then a four-step guide how this transfer can be done with the Telos Exchange module. How to transfer a project from Primavera to a Telos time location diagram? At the start, I would like to show some general background about the challenge. Primavera Project Scheduler displays the schedule in a Gantt diagram. The Gantt diagram is a line-based display of tasks along a time axis. The activities in the spreadsheets can be grouped by fields or activity codes to get a structured view. Although the Gantt diagram is the most popular view for a schedule, it has some disadvantages. Especially big Gantt diagrams must be printed on many pages, hence they can be confusing and unclear to follow up. And, as there is no direct relation to the location, direction and speed of the work, a Gantt diagram used for an infrastructure project is quite anonymous. The time location diagram created with Telos adds a location axis to the time axis of the Gantt diagram. It gives also the possibility to add drawings and site plans showing the construction field and having a direct relation of the schedule to the work on site. You can see and compare durations, directions and speed of activities and also notice clashes by overlapping activities. Having an existing Primavera schedule, how to put the schedule to Telos? An add-on to Telos is the so-called Primavera XML integration that I would like to describe now. Oracle Primavera Scheduler is a scheduling system that stores its data in a database. To access this database, a third-party application, like the Telos XML integration, has to use the Primavera API. The API is an application programming interface that capsules the application and allows structured and controlled access to the data stored in the database. The Exchange Macro program, distributed by the Primavera XML integration add-on, is accessing the database via the API. Besides some setting functions, the Exchange Macro program has the major function to export data from Primavera and to import data to Primavera. On the other side, Telos delivers directly the possibilities of importing and exporting data. The data export is stored to a data file. The data file is written in XML language. It is not only containing the data, but also how the data is structured. The data file can be transferred to any Telos user and there imported to the Telos project file. To read an XML data file, always a description of the data and the data structure is needed. This information is called XML profile and besides many other definitions it is containing the list of fields that are transferred and where they are stored on Telos or Primavera side. Hence the XML profile is locked to the data file and the data file can only be used if the linked XML profile is available. By the way, the XML integration can be used in the same way to transfer data from Telos into Primavera. What is defined in such an XML profile? In general, it is a list and the according definitions for all objects that are to be transferred, like calendars, libraries, codes, WBS, activity data, relationships, resources, and so on. 
Following, I would like to present as a sample the mapping for activity information, one of the most important objects to be transferred. On Primavera side, there is an activity name for each activity that must be stored in the Telos field task name. So the XML profile must contain a link for that. Primavera knows also the fields for activity ID, start and finish date. Those fields must be linked to the Telos fields task ID, start date and end date. To display a task in a time location diagram, there are some additional information required. The fields start distance and end distance are defining the location and direction of the activity. Those values are coming from the location axis and for sure are not existing in Primavera, as Primavera has no location axis information. But there is the possibility to create user-defined fields for each activity. So the XML profile must also contain a link for the location information and the used field names. The display of task in a Telos time location diagram is completely different to the simple bar display in a Gantt diagram. There is not only the possibility of displaying a task as a line, but also in different shapes, rectangles, parallelograms, etc. Additionally, each of the lines and shapes can have different colors. In Telos, this display is controlled by an object called Task Template. To control the display in Telos from the Primavera schedule, we need to have a reference to that task template inside of Primavera. Similar to the distance information, a user-defined field can be used. But it is also possible to use an activity code containing the display information. In this way, already existing activity codes, for example for work types, can be used as practice shows that each work type is having a different color or display in Telos. Hence, the XML profile must also contain a link for the task template and the used activity code. We recommend to transfer further activity codes and the WBS assignments into Telos. This allows to use the same filters and groupings from Primavera in Telos too. With such a mapping in the XML profile, the exchange can be done properly. The outstanding advantage of this method is, it is completely flexible and can be adjusted to each individual project data or each individual database compliance, or each individual company defaults. After this general insights of XML integration, I would like to present a four-step guide to transfer schedule data from Primavera to Telos. Step 1 is preparation. You have to prepare in both Telos and Primavera before starting the transfer. First is Telos. Here you have to prepare first the layout of the time location diagram view with range, axis, scales, grid lines and the site plan. You already can see a plan of a sample project here. It is a three area project. The left part is a new road construction with cut, the middle part is a bridge construction and the right part is a new road construction with cut and fill sections. Second, you have to prepare the task templates to display the different task types. In this sample file, bridge superstructure is a green rectangle while cut is an orange line task. Remember, the names of these templates have to be the same than the name of the corresponding activity code in Primavera. Now to the preparations in Primavera. You have to create some user-defined fields for start and end distance and update the data for each activity according to the location. You can see that in the columns of the spreadsheet. In this sample there are two alphanumeric user-defined fields named start location and end location. 
you have also to set up an activity code for the Telos display that matches with the task template name. In the sample, there is an activity code named Telos display. Additionally, I have displayed in the spreadsheet some more activity code assignments for location and work type and the WBS node. As you see, the Gantt chart is grouped. First, by activity code location, then by activity code work type. This activity code assignments will be transferred to in order to have the same grouped Gantt charts in Telos. After preparing data in both systems, we have to care about the XML profile. I only detail the activity information of this profile as this is the most important part to make changes on the provided sample profiles. Remember the scheme that we have created before. Those definitions have to be set up in the XML profile. From Telos you may open the XML profile editor and open an existing sample profile. On this dialog the profile is showing the list of objects to transfer. In our sample there are calendars, basically the calendars are transferred, units, the used units are transferred, categories and category allocations, this is the Telos corresponding for activity codes. Project and subproject information transfers names and settings. WBS data transfers the WBS assignment. Links are transferring the task dependencies. And finally, tasks transfer the activity information. Editing the tasks line gives a list of the fields that are transferred for activities. I would like to concentrate on the fields that are not existing in Primavera, like end distance. If you select the line end distance, you can see in the Primavera section on the right side that the end distance will be taken and put to a user-defined text field named end location. UDF text means it is an alphanumeric user-defined fields. Having a different field in Primavera holding the end distance data, you have to change the text on the right. One example, the text UDF num colon end info means the data is stored in a numeric user-defined field with the name end info. Very similar is the definition for the start distance value. Select the start distance line and see it is also stored in an alphanumeric UDF named start location. Last, the definition for the task template. It is coming from the code description in Primavera and it corresponds with the task template name in Telos. The extra parameter at the bottom defines the name of the according activity code in Primavera. In our sample, it is Telos Display. This XML profile we now have to use during import and export. And now we go on to step 3, exporting the data. You have to start the Exchange macro program installed with the Exchange add-on from Telos. After login to the Primavera database, the macro can access the data over the API. The button Export to Telos creates a data file in two easy steps. First select the file name of the data file in Output path. Select also the created profile with the scheme you have just created. The checkbox Add Profile to Data File is very helpful. The profile is then copied to the data file and in that way the description gets connected to the data and you have only to send one single file. Click on Next to go to the Primavera project selection. Select a project from the list. The export will take the data from this project. 
To transfer also some of the activity code assignments, I have created a filter of the activity codes named Location and Work Type. Those two code assignments will be transferred too. After clicking the Next button, the information gets exported and stored in the named output file. You may send the file to another person or use it by your own in the last step. Importing to Telos Going back to the prepared but empty Telos project file. The menu item File Import starts the import wizard. First step of the wizard is selecting the import format, what is XML file in this case. Next step is selecting the data file that has been created from the Primavera exchange. Last step is telling the import wizard where to get the XML profile from. As we have embedded a profile in the data file, we use that option. The button Finish starts the import. And now I would like to look at the results. There have been imported all the activities at the right time and at the right location. There have been imported also all dependencies from the Primavera project. There is a clash visible. The activity cut in orange is overtaking the activity compact in green due to different speeds. It was not visible in the Gantt diagram. We are looking at the data of one single activity now. Each activity has the color and shape from the predefined task template. The name of the template has been transmitted for each activity. Here it is bridge steel construction. The activity name, activity ID and WBS assignment has been transferred. Additionally, all calendar information too. In tab categories, you will find the activity code assignments from Primavera. The location code is bridge structure and the work type code is steelwork for this activity. As this coding information has been transferred, you may look in a similar way to the Gantt diagram in Telos as you are used to in Primavera. There is created a grouping, first for location and then for work type. This is the way to transfer a project from Primavera to a Telos time location diagram. Step 1. Prepare both systems. Step 2. Adjust the XML profile according to the data. Step 3. Export. Step 4. Import. I would like to thank you for your attention. I hope that you found this video tutorial useful. If so, please vote positive and share this video with other interested people. My name is Thorsten Balthasar and I wish you good luck with your projects. Thank you.